hello welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm bringing to you some super soft ring donuts without wasting time let's just get started i've got my fresh yeast over here i'll just put it in a ceramic bowl then come in with about half a teaspoon of i'll come in with some lukewarm water I'll go ahead and cover it up with a plastic wrap. Then some kitchen towel. I'll set this aside to activate for about 15 minutes. I'll get a bowl and come in with about 300 grams of regular flour. I'll come in with 100 grams of cornstarch. I'll go ahead and give it a good mix. The cornstarch will increase the softness. I'll grate in a little bit of nutmeg, a pinch of salt to taste. I'll give it a very good mix. My yeast has been activated, so I'll just pour it into the flour. I'll come in with about 150 grams of melted butter. I'll break in an egg. vanilla essence to taste. I'll pour in about 5 tablespoonful of full cream milk. Then I will come in with about 5 teaspoonful of sugar. With the help of my wooden ladle, I'll mix everything up. I'll mix it up to form the dough. If you realize the dough is too hard, just come in with a little bit more of the milk. rid of the ladle and come in with my fingers. I'll mix it for about five minutes in the bowl. Now I'll put it on a wooden surface and knead it some more. I'll knead it for about five more minutes. So kneading for five minutes, I will get my ceramic bowl and put the dough in it. I will go ahead and cover it up with a plastic wrap. I will top it up with some kitchen towel and set this aside for about one hour. So it's been after about one hour and as you can see, it has risen. I will go ahead and knead it for the second time. I will knead it for about five more minutes. I'll get my rolling pin and roll out the dough I want to form a circle make sure it's not too thin it should be about a centimeter and a half thick so I'll get my drinking glass and cut out perfect round shapes set them aside for later so to cut the inner circle I will use this bottle tap over here you can use a smaller glass if you have that So 
I've got my rings over here. I'll put them in a pan, cover them up with some kitchen towel and leave them alone for about one hour. So as you can see, it's been after about one hour and they have risen. We'll get a pan and come in with some oil. The oil should be enough to cover about half of the donut. So I'll fry one side for about a minute and a half. You know, when it turns golden brown is ready, you just flip them over to fry the other side as well. As you can see, it is golden brown. They are ready. I'll just get them out of the hot oil. I'll let them cool down. Our ring donuts are ready. I'll just go ahead and sprinkle on some icing sugar. Inside, it tastes delicious and it smells delicious. As you can see, it's air filled and this melts in your mouth. You definitely need to give this a try. You definitely need to give this a try. The kids are going to love it and you are going to love it as well. Just look at the inside guys. It's super soft and this melts in your mouth. You just need a few ingredients and you're ready to go. I hope I did help you and I hope you are going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye!